This isn't clickbait, I'm being serious. And as, as much as I salute Brian Johnson for bringing great attention to this incredible field of research to help advance studies in the future, he needs to stop certain things for his own health, in my opinion. This study from the University of Oxford, so it's not some obscure institution in the middle of nowhere, showed what happens when you go on a vegan diet that we all know is severely deficient in vitamin B12. Your brain can literally shrink from the severe malnutrition. Now, one of the reasons this happens is because one of the main fats that the brain is made of is DHA, tocosahexaenoic acid. It's needed for both structure and function. Now, Brian is on a vegan diet as far as I'm aware. Tell me one piece of vegetation in the world that produces DHA. Here's a clue. There's not a single one. Now, what should he do? What should you do if you're on a vegan diet and you're starting to realize how poor and unsustainable the diet is for human beings? Well, you could take a look at Dr. Anthony Chaffee's channel who presents a lot of data and medically backgrounded thoughts on this topic. Realize that diets like keto with very low carb or even better, carnivore, have significant positive impact on your health. Take a look at the famous Harvard study of 2,000 participants, if you don't believe me. Here's another study showing that saturated fat doesn't clog your arteries and that it's actually an inflammatory disorder. Here's a study looking at 175 countries and showing that higher meat intake increases life expectancy, etc., etc. The data goes on and on and on. And this is why, very soon, I'm going to go carnivore myself and I'm going to record the entire process for all of you from before to transitioning into carnivore to multiple months of the experiment. But I'm going to be taking baseline blood test readings before and every 30 days thereafter. Stay tuned.